Good morning class. This is the chapter The Sound of Music and this is the part 2. This is the online class for class 9 and this is the part 2 of the video. Now let's start. As for the music, she explains, it pours in through every part of my body. It tingles in the skin, my cheekbones and even in my hair. When she plays the xylophone, she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertip. By leaning against the drum, she can feel the resonance flowing into her body on a wooden platform. She removes her shoes so that the vibration passes through her bare feet and up her legs. Resonance means echoes of the sound. So, as you know, Evelyn was deaf, okay? And she was not deaf by birth. At the age of 11, she, uh, she became completely deaf. Before that, she, she was gradually becoming deaf. But as she did not take her deafness as her hurdle in life, uh, instead, she overcame her deafness and became a greatest musician who played xylophone okay so this was the just a brief introduction of the previous explanation okay so what happened now how she how she uh, felt or how she absorbed the music by uh, by what happened on uh, she would uh, be bare feet okay without any shoes and she would stand up on a wooden platform okay and she would feel the uh, she would feel every part of uh, uh, that vibration from every part of the body it tingled okay from a cheekbones cheekbones means which you have in the cheeks okay in the face so from there to his uh, to her hair okay it used to flow the vibration okay and she could sense the passing up and she could sense that the vibration used to to, uh, to go till her fingertips fingertips means the fingers of her tips okay so that way she used to feel the vibrations and used to play the xylophone not surprisingly evelyn delights her audience in 1991 she was presented with the royal uh, philharmonic society's prestigious solicist of the year award says master percussionist james blade god may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any of us that is why she expresses music so beautifully so her audience are very much delighted by her performance evelyn's performance in every concert in every theater and she had got the she had got a prestigious award by whom by philar harmonic societies okay what was the nomination for solstice of the year means solo performer of the year okay in which year in 1991 and even the master precautionist Percussionist, percussionist means who plays drums or tablas are called percussionist. Okay, even the master percussionist James played had said, okay, that God may have taken her hearing powers, though God have made her deaf, but he had, but he, but God had given her something extraordinary. What we as a person hear, she feels it and more deeply than any of us okay because if if like we normal people we couldn't be a musician but though she's deaf she had become a musician okay great musician that was what pray what master percussionist james blade praised her okay evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic i have just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the workaholic means a person who finds difficult to stop working okay continuously working okay not taking any break that is called that person is called workaholic 
Um, apart from regular concerts, Evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals. She also gives high priority to classes for young musicians. Anne Richlin of the Beethoven Fund for Deaf Children says, She is a shining inspiration for deaf children. They see that there is nowhere that they cannot go. So, in point 9, Evelyn confesses or Evelyn says that she is a continuous working lady. She loves to work and she cannot break. So, she she confesses that she has become a workaholic. Okay. And uh, she says that uh, she says that I have to work harder than any classical musician because she was deaf for the uh, she was the point number one she was deaf and she has to compete with all the people who are not deaf now so she she says that she has to work hard and evelyn was so genuine so good uh, person that she whatever she have earned or she did it she also gave back to society how by even giving a free concert to prisoners and in hospitals for the hospital patients and the prisoners who are in prisons okay she was so thoughtful about that that characterizes how evelyn was a genuine and a good person okay uh she also gives high priority classes for young musicians so she she always prioritize as well the young musicians who are deaf okay particularly deaf like Anne Rachel who was deaf and she is a very inspiration for that deaf children why she she wants to be an inspiration because while Evelyn was growing up she did not have any deaf person to look up to okay now now she is a deaf she wants to be an inspiration for all these deaf children so the deaf children can become in, uh, become inspired by her and have an idol to look up to okay so uh, annie richland was a uh, inspired by uh, this muse, evelyn okay uh, and not only that now the deaf children younger generation can see that deafness cannot uh, uh, deafness should not be taken only as a hurdle or a obstacle in their life they can overcome now the young generation of uh, disabled children have the uh, power to look up to um, per person like evelyn okay and num number 10 point now Evelyn has already accomplished more than most people twice her age. She has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. She has given inspiration to those who are handicapped, handicapped people who look to her and say, if she can do it, I can do it. And not least, she has given enormous pleasure to millions. So, uh, Evelyn not only have uh, been successful in her life, but have been successful at a very uh, young age. Okay, twice the people who have been success who couldn't uh, who haven't reached there, she had re reached that success in in that young uh, tender age. Okay, uh, so as you know uh, all the drummer all the tabla whatever it is always in the background but evelyn had made sure that the percussion is percussion always stand out in the stage and she has bought the percussion in front of the audience okay and also has given as a, i have uh, explained in point nine also given uh handicapped people a chance to uh, do something in their life as she has inspired so many of them okay and and have become enormous enormous inspiration to everyone as uh, as everyone uh, when the handicapped people will see her and be an inspiration if she can do it why cannot i okay so this is uh, uh, this is written by deborah cowley so in the next class i'll be giving you the question answers